Mm-hmm. There are at least 30 different ways of being attacked and killed in your own home at any given moment. It's sort of a random assortment of things. See anything useful? My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. <laughs> I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. <sighs> Who said something? Soreen or Gunmar. I thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. I don't trust that man. And I don't want him here. I suppose she's right. I shouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way. Last I heard of him, he was aiding the vigilance of Stendar at Runvald. He may still be there. If he can maintain some appearance of normalcy, I'll allow him to stay. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, Darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Do you have a moment to talk? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. 
That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father. Not saying something. You know, I've asked myself the same thing. I hoped that if he saw me, he might feel something again. But I guess I don't really factor in at this point. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help her tend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Yes? What did you need? Before my father became obsessed with a prophecy, my mother and I spent quite a bit of time together. She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. Like the best of friends, I would never hesitate to share anything with her. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next... I didn't know who they were. I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. There's not a whole lot to tell. You've already seen my father's obsession. My mother's not a whole lot better, but you'll see that soon enough.